Hi, I'm Hugo. I'm Stacy. And this is our class here, and it's called uh, Expanding the Beat. And uh, we started off the class with uh, actually talking about a bomb concept, right? So this specifically had to talk about how you accent rhythm in your feet um, and how we distribute it across our body, too. So we wanted you to think about almost like a bomb hitting, and the minute the bomb hits, it almost ex uh, it does the, like an expanding explosion. So it goes like boom versus it just hitting like a dead bomb, like boom. Uh, so what we tended to see in our uh, people in our classes, as they stepped, it was almost like one, two, three, and four, five, and six. Uh, overall very flat and very on top of the beat, versus thinking about a sound having like an expansion or an echo. So when we hit the foot, it almost goes one, two, three, and four, five, and six. And the way we kind of give everybody a drill for that, and I'll do it kind of forwards if she does it maybe sideways. Um, and uh, as I hit the ball of the foot on the floor, that's when the beat hits. So it goes boom. And as the rest of the OOM kind of distributes, you roll the foot. So it goes boom, boom, boom. Almost if I were to like kind of spell it out in uh, like a one O-N-E, it would be like O-N-E. Oh, and you kind of have to think about it that way, where it's like distributed across the beat, yeah? Um, we'll do that again for you. Same way for follows coming forward. If you are doing a heel lead or a ball lead, whichever you use, you're still going to have that strike and roll through the O and E. Yes? And release. Awesome. So the next thing that we talked about um, was rolling count, which is how we break down the beat into several different sections. So if we have beat one and we have beat two, Cool. Um, we talked about all almost like the quarters in between, yeah? So we even broke it down all the way to the E. Uh, so kind of facing you, let me make this uh, one and this two. Oh, yeah, sorry. all right, awesome. <laughs> so uh, this will be E, which is almost the first quarter, and, which is the middle, a, uh, which is the third quarter, and the two after that, yeah? And you can kind of think about it any other way, whether this is like a, E and a one, E and a two, and so on, yeah? Overall, just thinking about a rolling count. Um, as we did that in our basic, we apply that to the stretch itself, so. So let's say we're on six. On six, we talked about being on two straighter legs, completely weighted over the back foot. So we have six. We, <clears throat> on and, we're going to continue our momentum moving back for and. On a, uh, our momentum begins to move forward, up, uh, and on the next beat, we strike our foot for one. So all together, we will start from the beginning of a sugar push. One, two, three, and four, ending five and six, completely weighted over the back foot. Now we continue with our stretch, moving back on and, coming forward on a, uh, striking on one. Yes? One, two, three, and four, five, and six, and a one. So, all right. Uh, let's do the same thing, kind of thing again. And as you saw when we explained it at the beginning, there was an E in there. Uh, typically, when we're speaking in uh, in West Coast Swing, we tend to uh, leave out the E and just go and a one. But for the sake of the class, at some point we added the E just for kind of to kind of uncover that idea. So um, on six, in between it, uh, it was like the transition in between settling the hip and the six. So it was like six and I'm sorry, six E and a uh, one. All right, so kind of to distribute it overall a little bit more, but most of that is just to give you the idea of, of using the entire beat and filling up that space in the middle versus just rushing to that specific one. Yeah? Um, the third thing was? All our patterns. Cool, all right, so um, this was the expanding the beat. So specifically, I think we did an under our pass. We started with one, two, three, and four. For the leaders, I lift it up for five, six, I'm flipping over for seven, eight. Ladies are doing? And one. We're crossing our left foot in front. Now we're gonna swoop down as he begins to turn our hand. For three and four. Cool? Cool. So all together. One, two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight, and one, two, three, step four. Awesome.
Cool. Uh, we followed up this pattern with a left side pass variation as well. Um, and actually, we're going to keep this kind of weird handle because it'll get fixed in the next transition. Yeah? So we're going to do a left side pass. One, two, three, and four. Ladies, run it around. All the way. Five through. and six. Leaders, you finish your five and six. She's rounding the foot. On six, ladies, you're going to allow your head to rest slightly to the side, like on a pillow, encouraging him to travel across to the other side. Awesome. So, leaders, from this position, I'm going to move across for two steps. Four, seven, eight. From this position, I'm going to continue on with a kind of left side pass as the ladies go. And one. Cool. I'll do that same kind of thing again, uh, a little bit farther this direction. So I have a left side pass for one, two, three, and four. Ladies go five and six. Go leaders seven, eight. Move along and one, two. Cool. Putting both of those together from the underarm pass, we have one, two, three, and four, and five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three. Four, moving into the second piece, one, two, three, and four, five, and six, seven, eight, and one. Awesome. That's it. That was our class. Thank, Thank you. you.